Hey, and welcome back to our channel. Uh, we've done so many sports in, in the past. Football, baseball, uh, NASCAR, hockey. Uh, golf. I'm missing some. We've done... Did we do golf? A bunch, yeah, we did golf. Yeah, we did golf. Yeah. Uh, they're all kind of running together. Uh, we filmed all of those pretty much in the same day. Yeah. And so it's been a while since we filmed one of these videos, but mm -hmm. uh, this is the series where we pick a sport and we say five things that we like and five things that we don't like. Now, this specific video is going to be, you can tell by the title, five things that we like about tennis. Now, we're going to film a video after this called Five Things We Dislike About Tennis. You'll see that soon in the next coming days. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Now, tennis is a weird kind of sport. It's it's very popular in specific parts of the world, I feel like. Um, so we don't really get a lot of tennis exposure where we live. And that, that doesn't mean that people aren't don't play t tennis here. I have a tennis racket in the other room right over there, and I've played tennis previously. Yeah, I played tennis. Not, uh, com not competitively, just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. I played tennis a lot as a teenager. Yep. We had courts in behind the high school where I went to school, and in the summertime, my buddies and I would go there and play tennis sometimes all day long. There you go. And I uh, loved it. Just love playing it. It's a great game to play. It's, it's a good game for fitness. It's aerobic. You're not running all the time. You can stand there sometimes when you're receiving the, the serve, for instance. But there's enough bouncing around on the balls of your feet that you're getting a good workout. Mm. So, so great. this is kind of about... It's about playing tennis and it's about watching tennis. That's My list is includes things I like in, in both here. So I'm going to go through the five things I like and we can talk about it. And sure. Then we'll go through the five things you like. Yep. So the, what you just mentioned actually actually is a good segue to my number one thing I have uh, written down here. It's number one, intense and fun to play. Yeah. It's a good, you get good exercise and it's a lot of fun to play. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like one of those sports that's not a lot of fun to watch, but it's a lot of fun to play. Kind of like golf. Golf is fun to play, but not so much fun to to watch. I feel like tennis is in that realm as well. Yeah, some people think that it's boring to watch golf. Like they just actually are bored. I'm not, but um, I think I've it's, heard that a lot. No, I think it's boring to watch. Yeah. Have you heard the joke about what's, I know we're talking about tennis, but what's the one thing that's more boring than watching golf on TV? I don't know. Listening to golf on the radio. Oh, God. Jeez. Yeah. Stand by. Um, number two, the thing I like uh, about tennis is usually the, the players have respect for their opponents. You see a lot of handshaking, and That's true. a lot of them are really good friends. Yeah, and they have, they've played each other like endless amounts of times. Yeah, because it's not like these sports where there's literally thousands of of athletes. Tennis is a pretty small group of people, professionals who have played each other multiple, multiple times. So they're good mm -hmm. friends, and they have respect for each other. I like that. Uh, <laughs> number three, I have written down ball people. <laughs> The people who run and get the balls, it's just fun to watch. It's like a, a squirrel that sees something and then runs to get it or something. It's just... They... they it's comical. It, it, I, I guess I like it too. It could be easily be a dislike like because they're a bit annoying sometimes. But, I agree. But but they're, they're standing there in the starting yeah. gate like beside the net and the minute that the... Like, is it... Are they running that fast because their hair is on fire? Did they just break wind? Is, is their bum sore? Like... Okay, I realize you want to get this done fast, but it seems they just <laughs> they go a little overboard with the speed, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, I have to get it. I have to get it. <laughs> it's it seems a little fast, uh, too fast. It's like throwing a ball and the dog takes off. Yeah, right? but it's, I, it's I like it. It's fun, it's it's fun it's, to watch. Yeah, it's, it's more good. fun to watch the ball people than it is the players. <laughs> uh, the fourth thing I like about the sport is that it can be a team sport and not, and, and it can also be an individual That's sport. True. Yeah. I really like that. There's not a lot of sports you can say that about. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that aspect of the game. Yep. Uh, number five, I, I wrote down crowd attire. I like that people dress up for this sport. They, they're in their sweater vests and their their things. They, they kind of dress up. Like it's a little you, more classy. Isn't yeah, it? it's a little more classy. If you go to a football game or a hockey game, there's people with t-shirts on and or no shirts and, or no shirts. Yeah. And but tennis, everyone's kind of dressed up. They got nice pants on, sweater vests, collared shirts. I appreciate that. Cool. So those are the five things I like about tennis. Jeez, that's great. That's great. Well, I, I approach my five things I like more from watching it at home on television. Okay. It's been a while since I played tennis, so I didn't think of it as a sport for me. I don't play tennis lately. I haven't for a long time, but I did like it. So watching it on TV is how I get my tennis fix, and when I do, and I, I just watch the major tournaments. I'll watch maybe the French Open, but I really like watching Wimbledon, and I really like watching the U.S. Open. Okay. Those are the biggies that I like to watch. Uh, the first thing of the five, because I'm a viewer, 
I love the new replay method of whether the ball was in or out. They have yeah, that's these, actually really cool. Yeah, the, the player can challenge a, a line call, and it goes zooms right in, and it shows exactly where the ball was and whether it was in or out. Surprisingly, there are times when the player is correct, and the call gets overturned. It's amazing how how they have this intuition of what's in or what's out because they play the game so long and they just have that feeling and they're right. Yeah. yeah. And I, I like that technology has added things to to tennis to make the game more accurate, more fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so I, I like that that whole thing. And I love when there's a replay. I'm just, oh, great, there's a replay. And the crowd starts to clap. And, and they clap rhythmically, the whole crowd waiting for the replay to show up on the screen. And then they're happy or they're sad or whatever. And then the players accept it. They accept, you know, the replay is a credible thing. They don't challenge the interpretation yeah. later. It's in or it's out. Yeah. And it's very close. Um, the other thing I like is the speed of the game. Tennis, sometimes you get these long rallies that are 25 or 30 shots long. Yeah. Uh, but typically tennis, there's a lot of aces, there's some double faults, um, there's some unforced errors, and tennis can move along at a pretty decent pace. So the game goes along, it may take a long time, and that's one of my complaints for the other video, but there's progress going along when you're watching the game. So it, it moves fairly well. Yeah, you're right, it does. things that are changing. Um, I like the tradition of different tennis uh, venues. Wimbledon, for instance, probably more likely to see people that are dressed up more nicely. That's and true. And in Wimbledon, the royal family will, you know, send representatives to some of the higher, uh, more more prominent games, especially the finals. Uh, and you know, the uh, the Duke of Kent, for instance, may award the trophy to the men's or the women's champion. Okay. Uh, and, and that's, that's pretty cool. And the box, the Roy, there's a Royal box and, and there's some, mm. some uh, hoity toity folks. I'll disagree with that. I have no, I like that. I dis royalty is just a waste for me. That's a different video, a different video, but you're wrong. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so I like that, that whole aspect of it, that it's, it's got some tradition to it. It does have tradition. And, and the game hasn't really changed a great deal for a hundred and some years. Henry the eighth. In the 1500s, had a tennis court in one of his palaces. That's a good point. That's a lot of sports change, uh, specifically hockey. Hockey changes a lot. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Every but tennis. Yeah, you're right. It has, yeah. It's a sport that's really stayed true to its original mm -hmm. roots. And I like uh, how TV covers it. TV usually puts their main camera at one end and always uses that end to show most of the play. They'll show other angles for replays, but when they're when the rally is underway. You do not see camera changes. Yeah, I'll, I will definitely agree with that. So I can follow the play. Yeah, camera work is good with tennis. Yeah. And the, the other thing I like, and it's somewhat similar to yours, is, is the behavior of the crowd. Sometimes the crowd will holler out, you know, go Serena, or something like that. But when it's time to serve, all the umpire has to do is lean forward into the microphone and say, thank you. And phew, the crowd just gets really quiet. And there's usually no... <laughs> You know, usually every, like golf, someone's going to putt, you know, in the hole. You know, someone hollers that. In tennis, when it's time to serve, all the crowd respects that, and they really shut up. But I wouldn't, but that was one of your complaints about golf, is that people have to get, the crowd gets quiet. But my problem with golf is that they have to, and not all the crowd gets quiet. Oh, because the players get angry if, yeah. if the crowd's not quiet. Yeah. Do tennis players get angry if the crowd's not quiet? Um... I've never seen anger, but I've seen a serve in the air where where the player will just catch the ball again because they heard a noise. But uh, it's very rare that that happens, okay. in my experience. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, good conversation. Learned some new things that uh, I didn't know before. Part of my tr different traditions is the different surfaces. What do you mean? Wimbledon is grass. The French Open at Roman Garros is clay. The U.S. Open is on uh, asphalt or cement you know it's a hard surface there are different types of players that do better at different kinds of surfaces and they mix that up so it's mm -hmm. not uniform everywhere it's not just a different locale and you're playing the exact same game when you're playing on on grass and wimbledon has actually played on, gra on a grass true. court it, it's a different way of playing the, the ball spins a different way and, and comes off the ground a different way in each of those scenarios that's true. So I, like that. I will agree with that one as well. Okay, that's good. So, sorry. Right. No, it's okay. It's you're good. <laughs> good conversation. I like some of your points, and I'm sure that we've between the two of us we've missed something. Oh yeah. So someone at home watching can can let us know down in the comments uh, what they like about tennis. Maybe something that we missed. Uh, we read all the comments, so we're really looking forward to hearing your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not already, because we're gonna do ten or well, I guess ten things, five things I like, dislike, and five things you dislike. 
about tennis. So keep your eye out for that. And we'll see you in that video in the future. Adios.